Hey guys, what's happening? This is MIG, uh, MIG Type Productions, www.mrmig.com and mrmig.com. Um, I've been getting questions from uh, a lot of you guys on how to lock up your MPC to your Logic software. All right, so I have an MPC 500. The one thing I could say is that with the MPC 500, and I'm not sure about the other ones, you can't use it as a controller, or at least to my knowledge right now, I've tried everything. It can't be used as a controller. Um, you know, so you can't use the drum pads on there to trigger sounds on Logic. But you could do the opposite. You can actually play off your keyboard the sounds that are in your MPC, which is good for, you know, uh, it's good if you want to have a different kind of control over your MPC. And also, you could then save the MIDI notes in the Logic sequencer. So, and then it's easier to pattern out, and you can basically lock it up to the sounds in your, uh, in your MPC. But um, another thing is we can lock the MPC up and just, you know, lock it up with your sequence in Logic. So here's what you're going to need to do. It's very easy. I have one of these interfaces. It's uh, made by Roland Ederol, E-D-I-R-O-L. It is a uh, USB to MIDI interface. It has some MIDI in and out connections. It has one MIDI in and two MIDI out connections. And then it has this cord that goes to a USB cable. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to connect this USB cable into my computer. I'm sure you don't need to see how to do that because you have USB ports and you have a USB cable. Let me just, just plug it in. Now, I've installed the software already on this, so whatever, whatever product you buy, you're going to have software to install on your Mac. All right, so the next thing we do is we need another MIDI cable besides this. We need this, and we need one more MIDI cable. So I just grab this uh, MIDI cable that I've had here for quite a while, and I'm going to plug this into the uh, into the import, I believe it is. Let me just make sure. It's been a while since I've done this. I'll just tell you in a second if it works. If it's not the in, then it's the out. It's always one or the other, obviously. But, uh... All right. Of course I was wrong. Um, yeah, you connect one MIDI cable to the output to the MIDI out um, to the first MIDI out on this interface. You connect the other end of this MIDI cable to the MIDI in on your MPC. All right. Then in your MPC, you need to go to the mode, go to MIDI sync, set it for slave. And what's going to happen is now when you press now, when you press play in Logic, your MPC is going to follow right along. So that was a, that was a sequence I put I prepared already in the in the MPC, and um, as soon as I pressed play in Logic, it locked right up, right in time. And then what you could do is you can record the sounds out of your MPC via audio. Into your into your laptop or into your into your uh, desktop, and have the uh, the tracked out parts already synced up to your sequence. That's the best way to do it. That's how I do it. All right. So the next thing you have to do is uh, there's one more step uh, to get everything synchronized. You need to go up here to settings, go to synchronization, and then go to the uh, MIDI tab, the third tab over, and make sure that under MIDI clock. Next to transmit MIDI clock, you have a check check mark in um, destination one. Make sure that's set to either all or the name of your USB to MIDI uh, interface, which for me is the UM21. But I'm going to set it to all just to be safe. Now, when you now when you press play, it'll be locked up and good to go.